welcome. Today we're going to be taking this old Toshiba satellite laptop and we're going to be installing Ubuntu on it. So let's get started. Currently this computer is running Windows XP Professional. It has an Intel Pentium processor and one gigabyte of RAM. So to get started, let's make a bootable Ubuntu install disk. First we need to download the Ubuntu disk image. So we're going to go to download. Ubuntu desktop and from here I need an older version of Ubuntu to get it onto this Toshiba laptop so I'm going to go down to here where it says CR alternative downloads and from here I can go down to here past releases and then now I can go down to here it will show me all the versions so from here I'm going to hit 14.04 because I think it's going to be a pretty old version to run. Well, let's go back. And now here in the desktop image, it gives you two options, 64-bit and 32-bit. This is a 30-bit uh, PC, or 32-bit PC, so I'm going to download this image. And now that's downloading. And once that's finished downloading, I'll show you how to flash it onto a disk. Okay, now that we have the Ubuntu installation image, we're going to go to a website called etcher.belina.io where we can download a program called Belina Etcher. Now what this program does is it allows us to flash OS images onto drives. So it is available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. I'm on a Mac, so I'm just going to hit download Etcher. And I'm going to download Etcher from Mac OS. Okay, now that the Belina Etcher DMG has been downloaded, you are going to double click it. It's gonna open. And then you'll drag and drop Belina Etcher to applications. Alright. Now we close this. Jeff Belina Etcher. What you're gonna need is a USB drive and plug it into your computer. Okay, there it is. Now we are going to open the Etcher. Okay, I'll ask you if you want to open it. Hit open. Here we go, simple program. So, all you have to do is hit flash from file. You're going to go to your downloads folder and select the Ubuntu image. You're going to select the target, which would be your USB drive. Make sure it is your USB drive, because whatever drive this is will get erased. Completely erased. Okay. So, USB, SanDisk, that's mine. Select, and then flash. And now you're going to have to enter your password. And it'll start flashing the Ubuntu image onto the USB drive. Okay, now you may see this message. I'm just going to hit eject because that's what we were going to do anyways. But it'll show you this, flash completed. Okay, so now we can close this. You can eject your drive. 
and pull it out. Okay, so now we're back to the Toshiba and we have our bootable USB drive. So first, what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to wanna turn off the computer. So I'm just gonna do it with this button right here. Once it's shut down, you want to take your USB stick and you want to plug it in. So I'm going to plug it in. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to power it on. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the BIOS. So this is different for different laptop models and computer models. But for my PC, it is F2. So, I'm going to hit F2. So it's gone. You can look it up what the BIOS key is for your computer. So I'm hitting F2. And we are now on the BIOS. Okay. So, what we're going to do here is we are going to change the boot device. So, we're going to go over here, and now you can see this menu. Depending on the age of your computer, you may have to use the arrow keys, or if it's a UEFI system, you could just use the mouse. But we're going to grab USB, and we're going to look it up. Exit, exit, save and changes, yes. And now I just let it go. As you can see, it is now booting into Ubuntu, the Ubuntu installer. try Ubuntu and just run it off the USB drive just to see what it's like but I'm going to install Ubuntu because that's what I want to do so select your language over here then install Ubuntu okay in this screen you can connect to a wireless network which I will try to do my Wi-Fi is being a little bit glitchy right now though the 
insulation type. So I want to just erase uh, Windows XP and just start fresh with Ubuntu. So I'm gonna hit erase disk and install Ubuntu. You can install the different partitions though alongside with Micros with uh, Windows XP. So know that you can have two operating systems at once and don't You know that's going to erase everything. Continue. It's going to ask for your time zone. This is correct for me. Let's connect to the Wi Fi. It's going to ask your keyboard layout. This is correct. features of Ubuntu are. So it'll tell you to remove the installation media and then hit enter. So I've removed the USB stick, enter, and it restarts. Okay, it's asking us if we want to up upgrade to a new version of Ubuntu. For now, I'm just going to say don't upgrade and I'll upgrade later. Guess I probably should have hit the remind me later button. Oh well. Okay. This window pops up showing me a bunch of keyboard shortcuts. Um, it's telling me here, if you open software updater, Click on upgrade and get the newer version. And here we are. We are now in a brand new installation of Ubuntu. Thanks for watching.